Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. I hope you've all had a fabulous holiday season. We were very fortunate to get a BioLipe Camp Stove 2 bundle kit for Christmas. That's quite a mouthful. Anyway, um, it's basically a camp stove and, you, and a grill set. But today we thought we'd test it at home first to see if we could get the fire started without causing any mayhem or destruction to anybody's property. After we've done this home test, we'll head off into the forest to do a cook up. So we're going to set it up on our patio table um, and it comes in this fabulous little uh, sack so I might need an able-bodied assistant to help me. Douglas? So in the bag we've got part of an optional extra we bought which is a coffee percolator, a plunger. We've got some fire starter which is basically fire lighters. We've got the kettle pot this is part of the coffee set. We've got a USB light and a charging cable. Okay, so the lid comes off. It's got a silicon seal around the outside. It's quite a firm, firm fix. And then inside the kettle pot, we've got another little bag which holds the actual burner. This is the main workings, which attaches to the burn chamber. And clips with the use of the feet. There we go. And there we have it. So this is the cook pot, which can be used for food or boiling water. Today we're just going to light the fire and boil some water to make some tea or coffee. So these handles are silicon coated so that you don't get burnt. It's quite a big pot in actual fact and it does have measurements on the, well, on the inside and in reverse on the outside. And that's the lid. It does tell you not to put ch uh, charcoal in it, just to use, well you generally if you're out camping you're going to be using twigs and bits of wood that you can find. Right, we've collected together a little pile of kindling uh, and we've worked out that the pieces of wood don't really need to be more than four or five inches high. That The idea is that it doesn't stick out above the top of the pot. Now you can buy some wooden pellets which are food grade so that if you are cooking with the stove uh, grill then um, it doesn't give off any nasty chemicals. Just turn her around so I can see all the dials and things. Okay, on the front of the the power pack there are three LED settings and basically there's an on switch here so this one tells you how charged it is this one is the fan to actually aid the fire and this one is how strong your fire is actually burning at the front here there's also a little USB socket so that you can charge it in advance but actually the fire charges it for you as well so it means you can charge your mobile phone okay we've got the fire starter in the pot. We've just got to let it burn now. And it shows you how charged. At the moment there's only three little green lights so hopefully as the fire burns it'll start charging that up. And we have got a fire extinguisher on hand just in case we start setting fire to our patio. Okay so now then we've got a jug here and we're going to put a litre of water in it cold water, oops, flames, and see how long it takes to boil. Put the lid on, Doug can just do that, save me burning my arm. It's quite a firm seal and it can go on the top now. You will obviously have to um, keep filling her up, um, taking the pot off to actually top up the fire. And if you want to boil, they recommend you put it on a high setting. So the fan on a high setting, that is. Now there's a thermo generator, apparently, I might have that wrong, inside this yellow pack. And this doesn't get hot. So it means you can actually um, plug in your mobile phone charger here and the fire generates electricity, which is brilliant. Now we bought the optional extra coffee plunger, ably demonstrated by Douglas here and it literally just screws together. 
It just works like a Bodrum plunger, so um, we'll give it a go and we'll give you our honest opinion if it doesn't work. <laughs> but there is water beads forming on the inside of the plastic lid now. And actually this metal piece isn't hot, it's actually got a separator to stop you scalding yourself, so that's quite clever. As I said, it does come with a, a charging cable, that's if you wanted to charge the power pack up before you go out, but it also has this little light, so if you're out camping of an evening, it just plugs into the front here. There you go. And then it bends up into position, and you just touch it, switch it on and off, and then you can hold it to dim it, which is strobing a little bit on the camera, but obviously it's daylight at the moment, so it's not really showing up all that well. Now then, the green light, as you I don't know if you can see, has actually gone up, so it's now two dots from the top, so the fire has actually charged the power pack inside up to that level, and the fire is at half strength, apparently. We have only got it on two so I'm just going to put the fan up a little bit more. Mm. All right, we have to keep restocking, otherwise it will go out, as we've been warned. It's almost boiling, and we've only put e two lots of extra wood in. Uh, we've turned the fan up now because the flames have stopped billowing out of the side. They claim it can boil a litre of water in four and a half minutes, but other people have done tests and it was anything between four and a half and 12. So I suppose it depends how hot your, f your fire is burning. Right, we seem to have a rolling boil. Obviously we've still got quite a nice, quite a nice fire so that you can warm your hands by. <laughs> Swirling round where the air vents are blowing air round through the fire. Very clever. Okay, so now we need to take this lid off, which... Wonderful. And then we'll push the plunger onto the top until it touches the water. And we just let it stew for a, a little while. Okay, so it's been stewing for a little while, and now we're just going to push the plunger down. Not sure if the lid fits on with the coffee plunger in there or not. Oh yeah, it does. Hopefully, I've put I've put the lid on properly. Our first pot of coffee. So the part we haven't shown you yet is the grill, and it comes with a cover and some legs to stabilise it. So the cover clips on and can be used as a tray, which is quite handy. It's quite a firm seal. And then on the grill, you've got the grill bars, which is obviously where you put your food. And the spotty part underneath is a heat uh, distribution thing to make it an even cook, apparently. And this is obviously where you top up your fuel whilst you're making your burgers or whatever else you're cooking. Right, so we'll get the fire started and we'll show you how it attaches. So on this occasion, we're gonna try using some forage twigs that we've um, found, obviously, being winter time, there's a lot of dry and dead wood around, so we've just had a little wander around and picked up a few things, so hopefully they're dry enough to, to fire. We have bought kindling as a backup, just in case. It is smoking a little bit, and obviously this is supposed to be a smokeless fire, but it's only just starting, and it is probably damp wood, so not a lot we can do about that. The fan's been turned up a little bit higher, and we have now got flames rather than smoke so it's obviously burning well now but anyway we're now going to attach the grill pan and it just sits on the top cross a bit that's it sits on the top put the flap down so the flames aren't coming out the top and that's where you top it up with fuel when you're cooking right we're going to add the burgers and hopefully it's heated up enough to start sizzling the heat distribution has changed colour already, but it's never going to stay stainless steel forever. Mm, nice sizzle. Tongs! <laughs> it's hot. We've got the fan on number two, because apparently four is really only for boiling the water. Browning nicely. 
I know you can't see it because of the sunshine, but the fire uh, strength says it's on about five or six spots. So it's doing quite well. And the fan's on too, as I said before, and we're fully charged. We've got a bit of halloumi to add to the grill. Burgers are cooking nicely, smell delicious. Right, Doug's being mum and he's making up some bread rolls with a bit of lettuce, a bit of ketchup and then <laughs> Bella's intrigued. She's been trying to snuffle the bread rolls since we got here for some reason. Not the burgers, the bread rolls, which is a bit weird. But anyway, they are freshly baked. And the burgers look well done now. Oh, lovely. We've put the coffee pot on. As you can see in the background, the grill's looking decidedly dirty, but at least there's a plastic cover that goes over the top for when you're moving around. And the verdict on the burger, Doug? Mm. Good? We're good. We're getting bubbles and steam. So I think we're ready for the coffee now.